Are you curious about how the reactions you learn in your organic chemistry class are applied to develop life-saving drugs? Or have you ever wondered how these medications generate millions in revenue for pharmaceutical companies? Join me in this series as we dissect the top 200 pharmaceutical sales list for 2022. We'll be exploring the syntheses of each of these molecules and discuss how they combat various diseases. At 197 on this list, with a revenue of $328 million, is methylprednisolone, sold under the brand name Medrol. Methylprednisolone is a synthetic corticosteroid that is distinct from the well-known sex steroids such as testosterone and estrogen. Corticosteroids are naturally produced in our adrenal glands and play a role in regulating inflammation and other physiological processes. Methylprednisolone is commonly prescribed for its anti-inflammatory or immunosuppressive effects, with the latter being used to treat lymphoid leukemia. The drug was first synthesized and manufactured by the Upjohn Company, now Pfizer, and was approved by the FDA in 1957. Since its patent has now expired, genetic forms of the medication are now available. The synthesis of methylprednisolone begins with 16-DPA as the starting material. It is first reacted with hydrogen peroxide, which converts the alpha-beta unsaturated group into an epoxide and deacetylates the alcohol. The alcohol is then oxidized to the ketone using the Oppenauer protocol. A key early discovery in the synthesis of corticosteroids was the realization that a hydroxyl group could be introduced at position 11 for an enzymatic reaction when the intermediate was fermented with the mold, rhizopus. This reaction made it much easier to produce corticosteroids. The hydroxyl group at position 11 then be oxidized using Jones's reagent. Next, the epoxide was ring opened with hydrobromic acid. The bromine group could then be removed through reduction using rainy nickel. Two of the ketone groups are then protected as ketones to shield them from nucleophilic attack in subsequent steps. The ketone at position 11, due to steric shielding from the two methyl groups, is not very reactive and is not protected. During the protection, the alkene shifts positions, which is advantageous in the synthesis and is used in an epoxidation reaction. The ketone at position 11 is then reduced using sodium borohydride. The methyl group can be installed for a ring opening of the epoxide using methyl magnesium bromide, and the ketones can be deprotected under acidic conditions. The recently installed methyl group has the wrong stereochemistry, but can easily be converted to the correct stereoisomer as it is more thermodynamically favoured. Once again, an enzymatic reaction can be used to oxidise the enone ring system. The ring or stalk protocol is used to install the acetyl group by first forming an alpha iodide intermediate which is then displaced by an acetate group. Hydrolysis of this group uses methylprednisolone as the final product. Duloxetine, sold under the brand name Symbolta, is next on the list. It is a selective serotonin norepinephrine reuptake inhibitor that increases dopamine levels. This allows it to be used in the treatment of major depressive disorder and generalized anxiety disorder. E. Lilly developed duloxetine and it was approved in 2004. The synthesis begins with a manic reaction using 2-acetylthiophene and dimethylamine. The carbonyl group can then be reduced using sodium borohydride, and the enantiomers can be separated using mandelic acid. The resulting alcohol can be deprotonated with sodium hydride and reacted with 1-fluoronaphthalene in an SNAR reaction. Finally, this intermediate can be demethylated using phenylchloroformate. This reaction proceeds via a quaternary ammonium species where chloride acts as a nucleophile and attacks one of the methyl groups. This leads to the formation of a carbamate, which can be hydrolyzed to yield the final product. Azithromycin is a semi-synthetic macrolide derived from erythromycin A, a natural antibiotic produced by a strain of bacteria. Azithromycin is a more potent antibacterial agent and has better DMPK properties. Chemists at Paliva discovered it in the 1980s while working on erythromycin analogues, and it was brought to market in 1988 for a joint deal between Paliva and Pfizer. The chemists responsible for this discovery were recognised as heroes of chemistry by the American Chemical Society in the year 2000. The synthesis of azithromycin from erythromycin A begins with a condensation reaction using hydroxylamine, which forms an oxime group. A Beckman rearrangement can then take place once the oxime is treated with total chloride. 
During this rearrangement, the nitrillion ion intermediate is attacked by a nearby hydroxyl group, resulting in the formation of a five-membered ring. This ring can then be opened by reducing the imine using hydrogen and the platinum catalyst. The final step involves the methylation of the amine group using the eschweiler clark reaction. This can be seen as a type of reductive amination, where the formic acid is used as the reducing agent. For Vestrant, sold under the brand name Faslodex, is an estrogen receptor antagonist. It is used for the treatment of hormone receptor positive metastatic breast cancer in postmenopausal women. Provestrant works by dam-regulating the estrogen receptor in human breast cancer cells. It was developed and is currently produced by AstraZeneca and was approved for use in the United States in 2002. The synthesis of Provestrant begins with creating the long alkyl chain. 1,9-nonadiol is treated with HPR and toluene, substituting one of the alcohols with a bromide group. Thiourea is then used to substitute the bromide group creating an isophyre uranium salt. In the second part of the synthesis, pentafluoropentanol reacts with mesyl chloride, which is then displaced by the fire formed in situ from the previously made fragment, and a power reaction is used to convert the alcohol into a bromide group, completing the side chain synthesis. The side chain is then attached to the central core by first reacting it with magnesium to create a Grignard species. Upon the addition of copper chloride, a Gilman reagent is formed which acts as a softer nucleophile and takes part in a 1,6 conjugate addition. The enone ring is then aromatized using copper bromide. During this reaction, the newly formed phenol ring was prone to electrophilic bromination, leading to a side product. To solve this issue, acetic anhydride is used to acetylate the phenol and decrease its reactivity. This group, as well as the acetyl-protected alcohol, can be hydrolyzed using sodium hydroxide in the next step. The sulfide group is then oxidized to the sulfoxide using hydrogen peroxide, completing the synthesis. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more episodes, check out the playlist in the description or at the end of the video. If you would like to support the channel, be sure to like the video as it's the easiest way you can help. As always, references to papers used will be in the description and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Also, I'll be doing a giveaway once we reach 1,000 subscribers, so thank you. So stay tuned if you want to hear more about that.